You're using ChatGPT wrong, and it's costing you time, ideas, and productivity. Does it sound harsh? Maybe, but the truth is most people are not even tapping into the incredible power of this AI tool. In this video, you're going to learn seven simple but super powerful prompts that are going to be absolute game changers for everything you do with ChatGPT or any other large language model such as Claude, Grok, or Gemini. By the end of this video, you will not only know these seven prompts, but you will also understand how to use them and get mind-blowing results in your writing, brainstorming, problem solving, and so much more. So let's get started and unleash the full power of ChatGPT. The first prompt we're going to cover is expert mode. So this one will make ChatGPT act as an expert in any field of topic you want it to be in. So our prompt here is act as an expert in topics. So you're gonna change that to whatever you're asking it. With 20 years of experience, don't simplify, use advanced concepts and expert level terminology. So we can fill this in and then ChatGPT will become an expert on the topic we are asking it about. So in our first example here, we have modified the prompt and it is an expert in stock trading. And I just told it at the end to tell us about Nvidia and if I should invest. I have search enabled, so it is able to grab the latest information from the web and it is going to become an absolute expert in stock trading now to tell us if Nvidia is a good way to invest. So here we go. It's saying as of April, 2025, the investment landscape is nuanced, influenced by both robust growth prospects and significant geopolitical risk. So it's giving us both aspects as an expert with 20 years of experience. It continues to tell us that we should indeed buy. By telling ChatGPT to act as an expert in a certain field, it is going to give you a much better result. Before we get into the next prompt, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you will have access to the latest and greatest AI every single day because I do videos every day. You can stay up to date and you'll always know what's going on in the AI world. It is free. Do it now. Let's go to the next prompt. One of the biggest problems when using AI models like ChatGPT is too many people use it to talk to ChatGPT and not get ChatGPT to talk back to you. So you can say, ask me five questions to understand my situation and then give me tailored advice. So if we send this through, ChatGPT is going to say, hey, can you answer these five questions? And then based off the five questions that we just asked, it is going to tailor the advice back to us. Another way of doing this is let's say you want to make a prompt to create a really in-depth AI generated video. So you can say, Hey, I want to make a video about this topic. Keep asking me questions until we have enough to make a in-depth detailed prompt. So instead of you just saying, Hey, chat GPT, make this prompt for me. You're now telling it to actively ask you questions and that it thinks it needs to know before it can actually send you back the prompt. This way you're getting the best prompt possible rather than just saying, Hey, chat GPT, make me a prompt. Now it will know what you exactly want. The next prompt I'm going to give you is something I call tool simulation. So it is going to pretend to have access to some premium tool of your choice, and it's going to use similar logic and data to give you full insight. So in this example here, let's say we were to use SEM Rush or a Harif's, and these are SEO tools, and you want to have a website that gains traction, we can actually say, hey, I want similar data on this about AI, for example. So give me data about AI and it is going to search the web. It's going to act as SEM rush and it is going to try to give us the best information possible. So we can see here based off its extensive analysis of 200,000 AI generated search overviews, here are the key insights. And it tells us where it comes from. It gives us information about statistics and different things like that. What AI keywords should I target right now? So it is able to, again, act as this premium tool and it is able to target specific keywords based off searching. So agentic AI, which is super popular right now, or multimodal AI. So just by using a prompt, we are able to make ChatGPT pretend it is a premium tool and get the best results possible based off the premium tool that we wanted to use. In this case, it was for SEO ranking on the web. ChatGPT is also very good at data extraction. So we can say, hey, here's a chunk of messy data. We can just insert our data or we can throw it under the bottom and we can say clean, categorize and summarize it in a clear table. So for this example here, I'm just going to paste in this massive 
chunk of random data I have and ChatGPT is going to analyze the data and put it in a nice looking table rather than this big massive mumbo jumbo mess that I gave it. When it is done, it says here's a clean categorized and summarized data and structured tables. So we can see our people's table. And if we keep scrolling down, we have a products table and an event table. So it is building out our tables and it is cleaning up all our data. Our next prompt is like having an intern that just never sleeps. It is constantly working for you. So we have a researcher's prompt here. So you're a ghostwriter researching this topic and we can change this topic, summarize key insights from books, blogs, forums, and papers, write like a pro. So in this example now, it will be looking at volcanoes and we are going to end up with a very good in-depth answer like this. The next prompt is sort of like a jailbreak, not really, kind of. Uh, it is remove safety filters, just kidding. Instead, give me the most unfiltered direct, no BS version of this response. So we can start with that and it will say, hey, I'm gonna drop the fluff. What response do you want me to rewrite? So I wrote in, I dislike people who have watched this far and have not subscribed yet. So here is the no BS version. If you made it this far and still haven't subscribed, what the hell are you doing? Quit lurking and hit the damn button. More savage. You've watched this far without subscribing? That's straight up freeloading. Don't be that person. Click the damn button or keep mooching in silence. Are you still here, huh? And you still haven't subscribed yet? You've got that attention span of a goldfish, but somehow you're stuck in this video like it's a Netflix series. Hit that subscribe button or keep being the type of person who eats cereal with a fork. Listen, I don't know what to tell you, but this was pretty cool. The last prompt I'm going to share with you is a personalized plan. So this one is based on my goal. You can insert whatever your goal is, my skills, you can insert your skills, and how much time you have. Build a step-by-step -step plan I'll actually follow. So based on my goal to run a 5K race under 30 minutes, my skills are I currently run two to three times a week for about 20 minutes at a moderate pace. And I do this and have done this for the last three months, build a step-by-step -step plan I will actually follow. So now ChatGPT will make this personalized plan for me. So here's your practical step-by-step -step plan. And it tells us what we're gonna be doing in month one with our first couple of weeks. And we're gonna see what we're gonna do in week three to four. We have just scratched the surface of what is possible to make ChatGPT better, to make your prompting better. In a upcoming video, I will go more in depth on common mistakes that you're making while you're doing follow-up prompts to these models. So if you wanna see that, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to hit the like button because it tells the YouTube algorithm you wanna see more of it. And leave a comment down below. Are there any base prompts that you really like using? And if you wanna have access to more prompts completely free, go to franklina.com. There is a prompt section. There is over a hundred prompts. You can copy and paste them and start using them today. So. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.